Hey everybody, Brian from Innisfil Creek, honey. Sitting uh, down in one of my peaceful nuke yards. Uh, just up the road from us. It's a beautiful property. The owners are fantastic. Um, so we, uh, we just have, uh, I guess, 30 or 40 double six frame nukes here. Um, use it mainly just to replenish uh, bees of my own. So we uh, let them build up do some splits so I was out here um, doing some five frame splits out of the hives um, pulling five frames out and then throwing five frames of brand new uh, foundation in them over there uh, and I thought I'd sit down and talk a little bit about uh, varroa management um, and looking at varroa as uh, or treating or managing varroa as an all-season event so this yard here, um, all these double nukes, they're uh, 12 frames in each box. So you have, you know, six in the bottom, six in the top. So they're basically a single deep uh, beehive, but uh, stacked on top of each other. Um, and this yard doesn't make any honey. So we're not pulling any honey out of here ever. Um, the bees are just here to uh, draw a foundation um, and make bees um, that we can make splits out of then make new yards and stuff like that so um, every two three weeks I can pull uh, five frame nukes out of every hive in here um, and then it gives me all brand new foundation so these guys just spend their time doing that uh, and because they're doing that and because they have no honey on them uh, we'll never be harvesting honey from this yard I'm just harvesting human bees um, it's a great uh, yard to uh, think about a full season treatment methodology um, so this yard was treated uh, first thing in the spring. We treated with Apivar, uh, did a mite wash in them. There's almost no mites, uh, a couple mites uh, in a uh, batch or in a uh, sample of 300. Um, but because they're mating, I want to make sure that they're as healthy as possible. So um, I tend to keep some kind of a treatment on them year round. Uh, and I try to change my treatments. Um, you don't ever want to use the same treatment um, over and over again, um, or you could be looking at possibly building some kind of resistance to those treatments in your bees. Um, so we switch it up a whole bunch. Um, right now, as I'm doing the splits, we're putting uh, time of our on our on our nukes. Uh, time of our is a treatment that uh, not not very many people know about. Um, it's thyme oil um, impregnated into a sort of a fabric-ish uh, wafer. Um, and it's a fantastic treatment to use on your hives in those times when you don't have honey supers on. Um, it is uh, safe to use, has a strong, strong, strong time smell to it. Um, so you have to make sure you don't have honey supers on or your honey will taste like this. Um, and there is a 21 withdraw day withdraw time, so not something you'd want to use uh, late in the spring, um, just before you put honey supers on or not. But in a yard where we're never going to harvest honey, um, it's a fantastic treatment to use out throughout the summer months. So we treat it with Apivar in the spring. Um, mite levels are fairly low, uh, almost nothing. Um, and to main the, maintain those low levels, we're going to throw a uh, time of our on the on the uh, the nukes. Um, in the yard. Um, so uh, with the treatment of it, it's a one wafer, so one full wafer per deep box. And because these are six frame nukes um, stacked on top of each other, I'm just ripping one wafer in half. Gonna put one wafer at the front, one wafer at the back, like that. Uh, just surrounding the uh, brood nest. And then I'll come along and throw the second box on top, like that. And we'll fill this box up with frames. Now for the next 30 days, um, that hive is being treated for varroa mite. Um, being treated in a non-evasive way, so the, the time of time of our does not harm the bees, does not really irritate the bees much. Um, but it'll make it so that the bee, uh, varroa mite levels stay low throughout the next 30 days. Um, and at the end of 30 days, we'll come out, do a, a mite wash, see what's going on in here. And we might throw another treatment on for August, uh, of something. 
um, to try to keep this yard as Varroa mite free as possible. And I've always followed the methodology uh, that a, a Varroa free hive is a healthy hive and a healthy hive will live through winter. Um, so anything we can do as beekeepers to uh, help our bees live through winter would be a great one. So if you're thinking about uh, doing some kind of a treatment in beehives that are not going to be used for uh, honey production this summer, uh, think about time of our. Um, I use it a lot. Uh, I really love the treatment. Any hive that's not making honey uh, throughout the summer months gets time of our on it. Um, for the cost of a few pennies, we can ensure that our beehives uh, are healthy throughout the summer, building healthy brood, healthy, healthy, healthy bees, um, and we'll have the ability and the, and the stamina to live through a Canadian winter. Anyways, Brian from Minnesota Creek Honey, get the hell outside. Beautiful day to be out in the woods in a bee yard by yourself. Have a good one.